Dear students, now we are going to see the subject linear integrated circuit. The subject title is EC3451. And the, the topic is optocouplers and optoisolators. Upon completion of this topic, the students can be able to describe the functions of optocoupler and optoisolator and explain the applications of fiber optic integrated circuits. Optocouplers and optoisolators is a combination of light source and light detector in the same package. They are used to couple the signal from one point to the other optically by providing a complete electrical isolation between them. This kind of isolation is provided between a low power control circuit and high power control circuit to protect the control circuit. Characteristics of optocoupler Forward current, the current passing through the transmitting LED is 5 milliamps and the current required to turn on the output transistor. The forward voltage, input voltage applied to the LED, it turns on. The voltage drop across the LED is called forward voltage. Typically, it is in the range of 1 to 2 volt. Silicon diode drop is of about 0.7 volt. Collector door current. The current flows through the output photo transistor when it is turned off is called collector door current. Cutoff frequency, the highest frequency of the square wave applied to the opto isolator. It is used to determine the operating bandwidth of the optocoupler and is related to the rise and fall time. Response time, response time indicate how fast an optocoupler can change its output state with respect to the input. Response time largely depend on the detector transistor, input current and load resistance. Collector emitter voltage, the maximum voltage that can be applied across the collector and emitter of the receiving photo transistor before it may break down is called collector emitter voltage. Isolation voltage between input and output, it is maximum voltage which can exist between the input and output without affecting the electrical isolation voltage specified in kilovolt with a relative humidity of 40 to 60 percentage. Current transfer ratio is defined as the ratio of output current to the input forward current. So current transfer ratio is equal to IC by IF into 100. Its value depends on the device used as a source and detector. LED photodiode optocoupler. The optocoupler is combined package of photo emitting and photo sensing device. So input is LED or a photodiode. The LED output is a photo detector or a photodiode. The input pulse is given. So based on the input pulse, the LED current is given in the graph. As the, here the LED acts as a light source and the photodiode I use as a detector. The advantage of using photodiode uh, is its high linearity. When the pulse at the input goes high, the LED turns on. It limits the light. This light is focused on the photodiode. In response to this light, the photo current will start flowing through the photodiode. As soon as the input pulse reduces to zero, the LED turns off and photo current through the photodiode reduces to zero. Uh, thus, the pulse at the input is coupled to the output side. LED photo transistor optocoupler. Here the detector is replaced by photo transistor instead of photodiode. So the working principle is same as that of the LED photodiode optocoupler. The input and output pulse of the optocoupler is also shown in this diagram. The LED photo transistor optocoupler. Uh, Infrared LED acts as a light source and the phototransistor acts as a photodetector. This is a pa most popularly used optocoupler because it does not need any additional amplification. When the pulse at the input stage goes high, the LED turns on. The light emitted by the LED is focused on the common base junction of the phototransistor. In response to the light, photocurrent starts flowing. 
which act as a base current for the phototransistor. The collector current of phototransistor starts flowing as soon as the input pulse reduces to zero. The LED turns off and the collector current of phototransistor reduces to zero. Thus, the pulse at the input is optically coupled to the output side. The input and output waveforms are 180 degree out of phase. As the output is taken at the collector of phototransistor, the power dissipation is equal to ICE0 in nano amperes. The temperature is varies from 25 to 75 degrees centigrade. The collector emitter voltage of the phototransistor affects the collector current. Advantages of optocoupler. The control circuit are well protected due to electrical isolation. Wide band signal transmission is possible due to unidirectional signal transfer. Noise from the output side does not get coupled to the input side. Interfacing with logic circuits is easily possible. It's small in size and lightweight. Disadvantages, slow speed, possibility of signal coupling for high power signal. Applications, optocouplers are used basically to isolate the low power circuit from high power circuit. At the same time, the control signals are coupled from the control circuit to the high power circuits. Some of such applications are AC to DC converter used for DC motor speed control, high power choppers, high power inverters. One of the most important applications of an optocoupler is to couple the basic driving signal to a power transistor connected in a DC to DC chopper. Isolation amplifier. An isolation amplifier or a unity gain amplifier provide an isolation from one fraction of the circuit to another fraction. The power cannot be drawn, used and wasted within the circuit. This main function of this amplifier is to increase the signal strength. The same input signal of op -amp is, is passed out exactly from the op -amp as an output signal. These amplifiers are used to give an electrical safety bad batteries as well as isolation. This amplifier protect the pay patients from the outflow of current, the, they crack electrical signals ohm con, ohmic continuity among input and output and isolated power supply can be provided for both input and output so the low level signal can be amplified and, and this amplifier gives a ohmic isolation among the input and output terminals. The isolation must have a less leakage as well as the high amount of dielectric breakdown voltage. The typical resistor capacitor values of amplifier among the input and output terminals are the resistor should have 10 tera ohms and the capacitance should have 10 picofarad. These amplifiers are frequently used when there is an extremely huge common mode voltage disparity among the input and output side. An ISO 100 isolation amplifier features easy to use similar to an op -amp. So output voltage by input current ratio equal to the feedback resistance RF. The current input Output voltage to input voltage is equal to RF by R input, that is the voltage input. 100% tested for breakdown, 750 volt continuous isolation voltage, ultra low leakage that is 0.3 milliamps maximum at 240 volt per 60 hertz. Wide bandwidth that is 60 kilohertz, this is a 80, 18 pin dual inline package. The pin configuration of IC, ISO uh, 1100 opto isolation amplifier is shown in figure. The here A1 and A2 are the different amplifier stage used within the pin diagram. So this one is the internal block diagram of the circuit. So here the dotted line represents there is a isolation between the input and output. Here the input side we are using a LED and the output side we are using a photodiode. Here the photodiode acts as a photodetector and the LED acts as a source. The current input current is flows out of the isolation ISO 100 isolation amplifier. This causes the voltage at pin 15 to decrease because the amplifier is inverting. The output of A1 increases driving current through the LED. 
thus the led light output increases the diode d1 responds by generating increasing current the current increases until the sum of the current input and output of the uh, input node is zero at that point the negative feedback through d1 has stabilized the loop and the current id1 equal to the input current plus the bias current as a result no bias current flows in the source since d1 and d2 are matched the input current is replicated at the output of output via the diode D2. Thus, the amplifier A1 function as a unity gain current amplifier and A2 is a current to voltage converter. Uh, the current produced by D2 must either flow into the uh, second amplifier or RF. The second amplifier is designed for low bias current that is its bias current is greater than 10 nanoamps. Almost all of the current flows through the RF to the output. The output voltage then becomes V0 is equal to ID2 into RF that is equal to ID1 plus or minus offset current into RF that is equal to minus of minus I input, input current into RF that is equal to input current into RF where I the isolation amplifier is the difference between the IOS that is the offset current is the difference between the A1 and A2 bias current. For input voltage operation, the input current can be replaced by a voltage source V input and a series resistor or input. Since the summing node of the op-amp is essentially at ground, so input current is equal to input voltage divided by input resistance. So possible question on the topic is opto isolator consists of both LED and light sensitive detector. Thank you.